Hello everyone, I hope you're doing okay. Today we're talking about the Lightning Sorcerer, the burst damage spec for all you sword commands out there. If you want to imitate Palpatine, this is probably the spec for you. Talking about tertiary stats really quickly, in PvE, you want to have 110% accuracy, and then in PvP, you can literally dump all of your accuracy. You don't need any of it. For your alacrity, you can either have about 2.2% alacrity, or you can have 10.4% alacrity. If you go for that 10.4% threshold, it's gonna be a little bit of a faster spec, but if you don't have the gear to get up to that 10.4 percentage, don't bother. You just take the 2.2% uh, alacrity and you should be ready to rock and roll. If you aren't hitting those thresholds, then alacrity isn't doing anything for you, so there are your two options. And then throw everything else into crit and you should be ready to rock and roll. For our Tactical. Stormwatch. Here's just a couple things here. When you apply a lightning flash, uh, your Stormwatch will be applied to the target, and then it'll make both of your dots do extra damage every time they tick. Additionally, our Affliction will stay on the target throughout the entire time we're hitting it, because it's going to be refreshed every time we use Crushing Darkness, Thundering Blast, or Lightning Bolt. So, it makes Affliction stay on the target forever. It's pretty darn nice, and it gives just free damage for both of our dots. For our legendaries, Unmasked H Package is very nice. It's going to uh, cause polarity shift to be decreased in its cooldown by five seconds every time you use force speed. So use force speed, get more polarity shifts. That's pretty darn nice, especially when combined with the Gathering Storm. Gathering Storm is going to make your force speed, make your next attack do 20% more damage, and it's going to increase the damage of all of your abilities whenever you have polarity shift happening. So... Force speed makes your abilities do more damage, gets you more polarity shifts. Polarity shifts make you do more damage. You can see how these two kind of feed right into each other. It's a very nice little synergy. For our combat style, we're going to talk through single target first. Halted Offensive does a whole bunch of damage. If you're doing single target damage, this is the way to go. It's pretty darn nice. It also uh, overwhelms the target, so it takes more area effect damage. I don't really need to know about that. Cloud Mind is pretty much mandatory. It's one of our only defensive cooldowns that we have, so I take it pretty much every time. Moving the line here, Dark Embrace is going to cause Affliction to do more damage. It's just pretty darn nice. Insulating Blast is going to give you 5% DR. Eh, beats poke in the eye. If you don't have a raid buff in your raid group, so if you're like the only Sork, you can totally take Unlimited Power. That's fine. You're just going to be missing out on that little extra bit of damage reduction. Force Mobility. Pretty much mandatory. It gives you all the mobility in the world, unless you want to sit there as like a turret, like a sniper. Eh, take force mobility. Finally, surging speed is very useful. It's going to give us more force speeds, which, as we talked before, plays into our two legendaries very, very nicely. Some people take unnatural vigor in like PvP, but for me, I just take surging speed. Move the line here. You can pick between phase walk and whirlwind. Phase walk will make you teleport back to a different location. It's a great like get out of jail free ability. Whirlwind is a CC, which is a crowd control, meaning that when you use it on a, a, a person or a target, they will be stunned for a little bit of time. Pick a poison here. They're both pretty useful. <laughs> Finally, uh, in PvP, take immersion. It'll help you break all those roots. It's very, very useful. And then in PvE, take corrupted flesh. It's going to help you take less damage from your periodic damages. Now, there is an AoE build that you can use here. Uh, so if you are like questing or doing heroics or just AoE farming, you can swap out for suppressive current, which is going to give you chain lightning. It's going to make your next forest storm do more damage, which is pretty darn nice. You can take Eye of the Storm here, which is like a spammable AOE, which is pretty darn nice. And then you can take Thunder and Lightning for the increased damage to Chain Lightning. So those are the three options if you want to be like spamming AOE with Lightning. Uh, it's fun. It, it looks pretty cool. But for the purposes of this guide, we'll be focusing on the single target aspect of it. So how do we do damage? Before we jump into the actual abilities, let's quickly talk about our offensive cooldowns. We've mentioned them. Let's take a look. Uh, Polarity Shift here is going to give you 20% Alacrity, which is going to make all of our abilities cast faster, which is pretty darn nice. And because of our Legendaries, it's going to make us do 20% more damage. This is essentially our Burst Window. When we have Polarity Shift up, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of damage all the time. So we want to make sure we're using our hardest hitting abilities during this window. You have like 20 seconds of this though, so it's you're going to do a lot of damage during those 20 seconds. Now to make Polarity Shift's cooldown go faster, we have Force Speed. Force speed is usually just a mobility thing here. Uh, makes you, you know, 
go faster, four speed, go figure. But it's also going to reduce the cooldown of polarity shift by five seconds, which is pretty darn nice. And it's gonna give you this little buff here, I uh, just went away, where your next single target damaging ability, or your next, is it your next single target damaging ability? Hold up. Uh, no, your, direct, your next direct force attack is going to do 20% more damage. So every time you use force speed, you get this little buff here, which means that your next damaging ability is gonna do more damage. It's pretty darn nice. Finally, we have our Recklessness. Recklessness increases the critical chance of your next two attacks by 60%. It's essentially free auto crits. Um, pretty fantastic, pretty fantastic. So those are our three primary offensive cooldowns. Keep track of them. You'll want to be maximizing these, and we'll talk about where we'll use these later on the, down the road. But for now, just know that polarity shift, lots of damage for 20 seconds, force speed, gives you more polarity shifts and makes you do more damage next time. And references is free auto crits. It's pretty darn nice. But that's all boring. Let's not making the numbers go and the numbers give me the chemical of serotonin. So let's talk about our actual damaging abilities. Duke. Duke's really excited about this. You wanna come up? All right, Duke's gonna come up and talk about our damaging abilities. Our first high damaging ability here is going to be our Affliction. Affliction is this little green screaming guy right here. Affliction is a damage over time ability here. So if I use it first, you can see it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. What it's gonna do is over the next 18 seconds, it's going to tick and tick and tick and tick and slowly do like 20,000 damage over the course of the next 18 seconds. That's pretty nice, that's pretty nice. And additionally, because of our tactical, you can see here it's gonna slowly wear off. I have to refresh it. We don't have to be doing that actually. If I just use my damaging abilities, for example, Thundering Blast or Crushing Darkness or Lightning Bolt, you can see that it reflect, the, the du duration of Affliction is being repeatedly refreshed. So what that means is that Affliction is basically a set it and forget it ability where we'll use it once at the start and then we will never worry about it again it's pretty darn nice, just hit your buttons and Affliction will stay on the target. If somehow Affliction falls off the target, please reapply it as quickly as possible. I did get dunked on during Apex for letting it fall off when I was running away doing mechanics. So please have Affliction on the target as often as possible. It is a set it and forget it ability. But that's not doing a lot of lightning. I was promised lightning in the lightning spec, so let's talk about it. We have a couple of interactions here when it comes to lightning. The first is going to be between our Thundering Blast and our Halted Offensive. Both Thundering Blast and Halted Offensive do a boatload of damage. They do like 37,000 damage a piece. It's pretty darn nice. Additionally, whenever you use Thundering Blast or Lightning Bolt or Force Storm, the cooldown of Halted Offensive will disappear and it will be instant cast. Because if you cast Halt the Defensive as it is, it takes like 2.3 seconds to cast. Uh, that's a long time. It feels like you're playing Final Fantasy. It's kind of boring. So instead of sitting here saying, oh, I gotta sit here through us this massive long 2.3 second cast, let's not do that. What you can do is you can use a Thundering Blast and then reset that cooldown of Halt the Defensive. And now when it's glowing, that means it's going to be an instant cast. Boop. It's pretty darn nice. It's pretty darn nice. Nice. So anytime after Halted Offensive is off of cooldown, if the W will stop evading, thank you very much, you can use a Thundering Blast, a Lightning Bolt, or a Force Storm, and then get that fat Halted Offensive for free. Boop. Do a whole bunch of damage to the target without having to sit through that monstrous cast. It's pretty darn nice. Whenever it's glowing, it's going to be instant cast. It's good. It's good. So Thundering Blast makes Halted Offensive instant cast. That's all I need to know. The next couple of interactions here happen between Lightning Flash, Crush Darkness, and Shock. Now, Lightning Flash is, eh, it's an okay ability. However, because of our tactical, relax, it makes our Stormwatch be applied to the target. Now you can see every time our dots tick on the target, they're going to tick more damage because of our Stormwatch. That's pretty darn nice. So anytime you see this little storm animation on the target, that means your dots are doing more damage. Additionally, it's gonna make your Crushing Darkness uh, cast faster. So if you see here, Crushing Darkness is glowing, that means Crushing Darkness is gonna have a 1.5 second cast, and it's great. It's also going to tick all of our 
uh, Stormwatch proc. So what we want to be doing is we want to make sure that we have, obviously, Affliction on the target, Lightning Flash into Crush Darkness, because that way we get the full benefit of all these ticks of Stormwatch on the target. It's a very satisfying little interaction. It's just a lot of damage. We love to see it. Otherwise, you'll be hard casting uh, Crush Darkness. It's already like a two-second cast. That's not as much fun as when you're doing that flat 1.5-second cast time with Crush Darkness and doing the extra damage thanks to Stormwatch. Additionally, there's an interaction here with Shock. Now, Shock on its own, eh, doesn't do that much damage. It does like 20k damage, right? Eh, that's, that's nothing to shake a stick at. Eh, it's not great. Not great, not terrible. However, because we're in Lightning, anytime you have Crushing Darkness on the target, Shock will do more damage. So what that means is that we want to be going from an interaction of Lightning Flash into Crushing Darkness into Shock. All right, he's getting a little up. You're going to go down, bud. That way, we'll be taking advantage of the full interaction <clears throat> between, let's have Affliction on the target, Lightning Flash into Crushing Darkness, into Shock, for that little bit of interaction between our three abilities. Pretty darn nice. We love to see it. There is one final spammable ability here, and this is Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt, kind of, uh, eh, kind of lame. I'll be honest with you. It's a, it's a very generic 1.5 second cast. However, it is building up to three stacks of damage reduction. That's going to increase our damage reduction by, by 15% with these little uh, charge reductions here. Um, so if you th see three stacks of yourself on the target, I'm sorry, of uh, Fulgus Fortification. Sorry, I, I mispronounced that. Um, it's going to give us a little bit of stacks of DR, and it's a good spammable ability. So any time that all of our primary damaging abilities are not usable, it's the one that we spam. So let's recap, re, not recap, recap very quickly. Affliction on the target, always poor favor. Halted Offensive does a whole bunch of damage. It has a slow cast time. It can be reset by Thundering Blast, Lightning Bolt, and Force Storm once every 10 seconds or so. The next interaction is between Lightning Flash into Crush Darkness, into Shock, which all have interactions with each other, and if everything else is off a of cooldown, we just spam Lightning Bolt. It's a very simple and straightforward concept, but um, it can get a little tricky because the game doesn't quite tell you how to actually play it. Additionally, there are two main ways that you can be playing Lightning. Lightning can either be a priority system or a set rotation. So let's quickly talk about the priority system first, and then we'll talk about the set rotation. The priority system I've broken out up here. We're gonna bring this over to the middle, hello. This is a very basic priority system for lightning. What it means is that these are the most important abilities in order. When the top ones are off cooldown, we move down to the next. So for example, in this situation, we'll just play it right down the line, boop, boop, boop. And literally, you're just gonna go from the most important abilities down to the least important abilities, and then kind of call it a day. Now, the reason that you would want to go with a system like this is if you're moving a lot. Because in this priority system, we don't really want to be sitting here card casting halted offensives. We would much rather wait for the halted offensive to proc and then use halted offensive. We don't really want to be sitting here like hard casting this long two and a half second cast time. If you just follow this very basic priority system of thundering blast, into halted offensive, into shot, into lightning flash, <clears throat> crush darkness, shock, and lightning bolt. It's a very straightforward way to play the game. It's also a lot more forgiving. So say, for example, if you mess up a rotation here, it's like, oh my goodness, I used lightning flash when I should have been using halted offensive. That's fine. Like, no worries at all. Just do better next time, right? So it takes away a lot of the where am I in the rotation out of lightning and gives you a lot more permission to mess up, if that makes sense. So if you want to totally follow this thundering blast, halted offensive, lightning flash, crushing darkness, shock, and lightning uh, bolt priority system, totally can, totally acceptable. A lot of people are playing this way, especially when it comes to mobility because of the interaction, or it's, we get a lot of mobility out of the spec because of the interaction we have with force speed. I didn't mention this before, but force speed will actually give you two stacks of convection, which will make your next lightning bolts cast instantly. So you're not gonna sit still and cast those lightning bolts, you can actually cast them on the move. 
So instead of sitting here and trying to like tunnel and really focus on staying still and getting a whole bunch of casts off, we can be a lot more mobile thanks to this priority system. When you're using this priority system, we want to be hitting four speed whenever we use our halt the defensive or right before we use our halt the defensive. It's just the highest damaging ability. And by using four speed on it, we make sure that we get uh, the most benefit out of it. You can also use it on Thundering Blast if you really want to. Eh, it's really more spam it on cooldown than anything else. We want to be getting as many of the polarity shifts off as possible. And so by just spamming for speed, either on Thundering Blast or Halted Offensive 24-7, you'll be getting more polarity shifts. Spam polarity shift as often as possible, and you should be good to go. So again, for speed before either Thundering Blast or Halted Offensive, you should be fine. Additionally, we want to be using our recklessness anytime we go into our Thundering Blast into Halted Offensive combo here. So Thundering Blast into Halted Offensive, back-to-back -back massive crits on our two hardest hitting abilities. It's pretty darn nice. That's the very forgiving way to play Lightning. If you mess it up, that's totally fine. Just do better on the next GCD and you should be ready to rock and roll. However, if you have the luxury of tunnel casting and just not moving at all and not having to care about mechanics, you can actually follow a very simple rotation here. I'm going to bring this down to the center. Here is the very basic lightning rotation. We're going to go into four blocks of three abilities. The first is a hard casted halted offensive into thundering blast halted offensive. So what we're doing here is we're lining up three of our hardest hitting abilities back to back to back. So hard casted halted offensive, Thundering, halted, bippity boppity, you've taken away 100k of someone's property. It's pretty darn nice. The second block is going to be a lightning flash, crushing darkness, shock. We talked about this interaction before. We want to be getting these three uh, abilities off in the one single block. So first block is halted offensive, thundering blast, halted offensive. Second block is lightning flash, crushing darkness, Shock. Now you're going to notice here, we're actually going to repeat the first block over again. So we're going to go another halted offensive, thundering blast, halted offensive. And then we want to spam three lightning bolts to make sure we're keeping up our three stacks of our DR. And then just repeat. So again, the opening, I'm sorry, I completely botched that. I hit the wrong button, which we, you know, you hate to see it. So the opening first block. Halted, Thunder, Halted. Second block, Lightning Flash, Crush Darkness, Shock. That whole little interaction is very nice. Another Halted, Thundering, Halted, and then Lightning Bolt. So let's get Affliction on the target and then let's start from the beginning. So Halted Offensive, Thundering Blast, Halted Offensive, Lightning Flash, Crushing Darkness, Shock. And again, Halted Offensive, Thundering Blast, Halted offensive, and then just spam three lightning bolts again from the beginning. Halted offensive, thundering blast, halted offensive, lightning, crushing, shock, halted offensive, thundering blast, halted offensive, and then one, two, three. Now, when we're using our offensive cooldowns here, we want to be using Recklessness in this little Halted Offensive Thundering Blast combo window. It's very, very nice. And then Force Speed actually lines up perfectly with this rotation. So we want to be using Force Speed before a Halted Offensive. It's a very simple way that you can be just not having to worry about the priority system and then just follow this very basic rotation. It's pretty darn nice. It takes a lot of the thinking out of the priority system. Priority system was more like finger dance dance revolution, but because we're hard casting halted offensive so much here, this is much more of a turret situation than someone that's gonna be actively on the move. Now what you can do is you can essentially float between running the priority system and running the hard casted rotation here. If you get to a situation in a fight where you can just sit there and tunnel boss, feel free to default back down to this uh, basic rotation. But if you have to run around and do mechanics and you know move out of stuff, you can take a few moments and you know default back to this very basic priority system and then you should be ready to rock and roll. It's a pretty straightforward spec. The interactions are pretty, pretty simple. Affliction on target all the time. 
Thundering Blast and Lightning Bolt and Forest Storm resetting the cooldown and making Halted Defensive Instant Cast. Lightning Flash into Crushing Darkness Shock, little nice combo. And then just keep Lightning Bolt up as often as possible to keep your, five, your three stacks of DR up and you should be ready to rock and roll. Our defensive toolkit on Sork is very limited. The most common one we have is our static barrier. You have static barrier, you apply it to yourself and you get this 20 second debuff, which means you can't put another static barrier on yourself. However, it will absorb like 25K damage. It's nice, you know, it's okay. Not bad, not great, not terrible. Additionally, deionize is gonna give you a flat 5% DR, which is, you know, pretty nice, pretty nice. So you should be spamming this on yourself as often as possible to make sure you are absorbing damage when applicable. Additionally, we are taking Cloud Mind here. Cloud Mind is going to reduce our damage taken by 25%. Uh, not great, not terrible, but we, we don't really have anything else as like a passive DCD. So if you're ever getting hit, feel free to hit it. It's also going to lower your aggro towards any, uh, any enemy in the area. We also have our Oh Shoot buttons. For example, Force Barrier is going to channel for eight seconds and make you invincible. It's pretty darn nice. No one can touch you. The downside is you can't do anything. While this cast is going, you can't move, you can't cast, you're kind of stuck here doing nothing. It's a great way to survive mechanics that like, oh, I didn't get out of this in time, time to barrier. But just, you know, have a backup plan afterwards or a way to escape situation, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. I also take phase walk. Phase walk is a fun little ability. You set the phase walk down over here. And then if you run away from it up to 60 meters away, you can teleport back to that location at any time by hitting the ability again. It's a great way to escape, especially in like PVP situations, it's a great way to ex escape other players. We also have some healing here. Uh, the most common is gonna be Unnatural Preservation. Unnatural Preservation is an instant cast. So it's a free heal for like 30K. Not great, not terrible, but it does have a 30 second cooldown. So you can kind of just be spamming it throughout the fight. Uh, it is also, I believe it's off the global cooldown. So you should be spamming this and helping out your healers as often as possible. We also have Resurgence. Resurgence is a little bit of a hot, uh, it does a piddly amount of healing. You should have this on yourself if you are getting like passively damaged, but don't rely on this to really heal you up in chunks. And finally, we have Dark Heal, which only heals you for 15k. All this to say that your healing in Lightning is pitiful. Don't worry about it. Just straight up don't worry about it. Just be using a natural preservation, basically on cooldown, because it's off the global cooldown, so it's not gonna affect your damage and then let the healers take care of everything else. If you get to the point where you're healing as lightning, something's gone terribly wrong, you should be flaming your healers, all right? That's the way it goes. But that's really it in terms of doing damage as lightning. Let's talk about our very simple opener here. The opener we're gonna do is we're gonna do halted offensive, hard cast it before the pull, and then we're gonna go into affliction, and then we're gonna pop all of our OCDs, so that's gonna be polarity shift, for speed, reckless this, and then an adrenal if you have it. And then you're gonna go into this rotation. So let's go halt the defensive, affliction, all of your OCDs, and then just begin your rotation. If you can master the art of understanding how your ability is interacting with each other, you're gonna be perfectly fine with doing damage here on lightning. If you want to sit down and memorize this very simple rotation, I definitely recommend it. It's a great way to burn down like gold bosses. But for the most part, most damnies are gonna be dead before you even get through this first opening part of the rotation. So for those of you that are questing or just learning about the spec, you're gonna be in for a very good time. That's kind of all there is to know about this spec. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. It's a very fun, fun little burst spec, but you know, if you, uh, if you enjoy it, let me know. If you want to see more of this content, let me know. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, concerns, conundrums, things I didn't address, feel free to let me know. And I'll get back to you when I feel like it. That's all I have. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Take care. And have a nice day. All right? Anything, Duke? No. No, he doesn't. All right. Bye-bye.